ask, what is your favorite uh, horror movie? Um, oh my gosh. Horror. I was just curious. That is a really hard question. I feel like it honestly, it changes like every day. Um, I th- what's the what's what's how would you describe yourself being to somebody who who you meet in the street and you know how would you first introduce yourself you know um i think i would first and foremost say that i am a writer and then i would let people kind of make assumptions about what kind of writer i am and it actually always kind of shocks people when i say well actually i love to write horror because i present myself as kind of like a bit whimsical um and a bit like kind of very core cottage core so then I say I write horror and people are a bit like oh um so I guess I like kind of surprising people um yeah I guess I guess just yeah I'm a writer I'm a cinephile um I'm a creative um with a just a massive imagination um yeah I guess that's how I'd start that's great that's great did you say uh, people describe you as cottage core is that what you said or yeah, like kind of yeah, fairy tale cottage core. Like I wear long dresses a lot and um, ah, like well, sparkles in my hair and stuff. So like Disney princess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's the uh, it's the lingo that's uh, you know that's the UK lingo there. You're you're in the uh, UK, yeah. right? Yeah, that... yeah, London. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm from New York. Uh, in New oh, York, great. US. Okay. Um, I actually haven't met that many comic creators in London. Do you think that the scene is big there? Um, not particularly. Um, that's kind of why the studio that I work with, um, they decided to start because we they kind of thought like there's not there's not actually a lot of like UK based, um, London based comic book studios or comic book creators. Like there's kind of like a bit of a gap in the market for that kind of thing. So yeah, I wouldn't say there's a massive scene here to be honest. Like there's a lot of great indie comic creators, but yes. yeah. You know what? What was like the the moment you're like I want to do this. And how fast was the turnaround from that moment to you writing your first book, which I think is Lurker? So, yeah, so it was about a year and a half ago. Um, And I actually was like, I was kind of fresh from university um, and I was searching. I was searching for anything, like any kind of writer position. And I just like came across an advertisement for Wild River Comics. They were just looking for like um, a writer, someone to like collaborate with. Um, and I applied thinking like, oh, uh, like I, I've, I have a master's in creative writing, but I had no, ex- and I like, I love comic books, but I have no proper experience writing comic books at that point. Um, so I kind of thought that would be all. But then um, we kind of, we kind of met up in person, um, me and the guys that run the studio. Um, and I did, a, I kind of did a little like sample of my work, um, a little comic book sample, just trying to like get to grips with like writing a comic book script. Um, and they really liked it. And then I started working with them and um, I was actually working. They um, they have another we have another series at, at the company uh, called Daughters of Albion. I don't know if you stumbled upon that at all. Yes. Um, like I, I just I should know I see it every day on Kickstarter. I see everything. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, there's so much great stuff on there. But yeah, it's like um sci-fi fantasy, like set in London. And they had this kind of idea and then we kind of like fleshed it out together. I did a lot of world building, um, and then I worked a little bit on that series. Um, and then I kind of thought like, oh, um, maybe I could pitch something of my own to them and like see see what they think and like I come from a horror background like I just love writing horror watching horror um so I pitched to them this kind of like anthology series with like standalone uh horror comic books linked by this character called the lurker who is like this omniscient narrator character who like links all the stories together and is like this common thread like pulling the reader through um and they really liked it and so yeah like um we decided to launch it on kickstarter um people seem to be quite interested because also like um female-led horror there's kind of a gap in the market for that kind of thing in the comic book industry um Mm -hmm. so yeah it was kind of i kind of just dove into comic books head first and like i i feel like i got the hang of like writing comic book scripts pretty quickly um 
but yeah it was it was a quick it was quite a quick turnaround to be honest like yeah that's, that's <laughs> cool. and I think I saw this that you were you are the writer for all of their books so far um I think there's four books that they made Wild River um is that true so I wrote most of issue one um somebody else wrote issue two but then I'm back in charge um going forward so I'm writing Daughters of Albion and Lurka at the moment so it's it's quite you're a little work yeah you're basically the main person there. Yeah, you know, I, I was just curious if uh, if it, Wild River was like your uh, company or it was somebody else's. But no, no, no. Um, I came into it pretty early on, um, but I'm. It's not. It's not my company. Um, I'll, think... I'll ask you two questions. So one was your horror movie, and then two, what is your what is the horror movie that scared you the most? Right. The my favorite horror movie is probably um, Misery. Um, with Kathy Bates, James Kahn, directed by Rob Rayner, um, based on a Stephen King book. I'm a big, big Stephen King fan. And then I think oh, the horror movie that scared me the most, actually, maybe one that I've seen recently, um, Barbarian. I don't know if you've had oh, a chance to okay. catch it. Just really, I don't know, something about it really freaked me out. It's all, yeah. Um, <laughs> Or maybe hereditary, Ariasta's hereditary. Hereditary is a different type of scary for sure. I think it mm -hmm. was more of like a shocking scary. It was like a... Yeah, yeah, definitely. It, it got me thinking about horror, you know, when I came across, of course, Lurker and stuff. But yeah, I um, my favorite horror movie is the classic Scream. Yeah, I, I don't think it's... Oh, yeah, great. Classic. great I just remember having so much fun watching those as a kid. Mm. But the the one that scared me the most is the Grudge, and uh, okay. I was you have to keep in mind I was like, you know maybe like in middle school sometime twelve or, or eleven or twelve, and that like I could not go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do, you, do you sleep like you know sl soundly after seeing a horror movie, or do you have any troubles ever? No, it's funny because like I get scared quite easily. So there's something about like being scared, like that adrenaline that I enjoy weirdly enough, even though no, I sometimes don't sleep after I watch horror. That's <laughs> I saw of course this thing here and I was really piqued my interest. I even actually sent this to a few friends. Um, mm -hmm. like saying like, look how cool this looks. Um, and we kind of all chatted about it, looked through some examples. Um, and we came across um, Anna, who did the interiors for Harriet is a Tree. Um, mm -hmm. She's kind of like an up and coming artist. Um, she, yeah, she, she's going to be big, I bet. But um, yeah, her stuff is like very traditional looking and it just kind of fit what we were looking for. We were just looking for something kind of traditional, but with the kind of scope to be like really grotesque and like visceral and yeah. Hilarious. Is this, is this? Yeah. Uh, but that's Anna Reedman. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And um, Abigail, Paul, uh, mm -hmm. very cool. And oh, there you are, right there. Hilarious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then that uh, kind of takes us to Marco one did pretty pretty well. Um, and yeah, our next one is going to be like, I would say, kind of like even more. If if the first two look kind of similar in vibe, this one is like a little bit removed from that. I would say the next one that we're doing. Okay, um, and are you? Yeah. Did you say there's going to be a next one? There's going to be. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I've written three more. Um, so two of them have interiors at the moment. Two of them have artwork, and uh, we're putting them together properly. Um, yeah, not sure. And I'm are sure. these are these uh, storylines tied combined? Well, like you know, give us a little bit. Is so it? they're all supposed to be set within um, Immortal London, which is like the collective universe for Daughters of Albion and mm -hmm. Lurker. But the stories aren't linked. The only thing that is linking them is this narrator, who at the moment we don't know who who they are. Only I know who they are. But yeah, it, <laughs> it will right. be linked in the future. Oh, so. very cool. Yeah. And let's just say that I get this uh, this book here off you know, I don't know which one it is that gets me one and two, uh, but do you, will you sign it or what's, what's the good, you know, what's the lowdown? Yeah. So we, um, I have been signing copies. Um, yeah. So um, I, I go into the office sometimes. So yeah. Could <laughs> be fun. 
Are, are you promising me right now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me, uh, let me see. Yeah, you know what? Um, you know, you said you had fi all five planned out. Did you write the ending um, before you wrote the first one? Before you wrote the beginning, I guess. Did you already know where it was leading? Um, not really. Um, which is probably well, I don't know. I guess it could be considered a flaw. Like a lot of writers like to sit and like plan every single thing out, which I think. I think I would like to work like that someday, but at the moment, sometimes I just kind of let my brain run away with itself. Um, and then like halfway through writing, I'm like, oh, hang on a second, like, and then stuff falls into place. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say I knew the ending when I started writing, but I do okay. now. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always something I'm more curious and I'm the same way. I don't, you know, sometimes things get so massive uh, in yeah. our heads that it's better just to not, overwhelm ourselves yeah exactly uh, and i definitely take that approach as i'm building you know many universes out um between six different series about mm -hmm. just about so people can see i did back this campaign i was very excited when i first saw mm -hmm. lurker um and then getting to meet you it was a no-brainer beanie you know what i'm saying oh and, thank you and i'm hoping more people will feel the same way really? um yeah so i yeah i found the comic book industry very welcoming and we like I recently did big like MCM London Comic Con it can be quite overwhelming like there's just so much to see and like especially if you're a bit of an introvert it can be like a lot but uh, yeah everyone's really great and supportive and everybody yeah. tries to talk to you Beanie you know what I'm saying that's, that's yeah. everyone's cons um but like what do you what are you doing like right now like um like do you are you I guess you're writing comics but like mm -hmm. do you do you do you have like another job outside of comics? Like, what else do you do? I guess besides comics, any any like uh, you know what do they call it? Not habits, but hobbies. Any any other hobbies that you have uh, going on that you like to kind of keep yourself sane with? Being... Huh. Um, I mean, obviously reading, um, watching movies. Like um, so, like I like working. Um, like at the moment, I'm freelance, so I'm. I'm kind of in the pitching zone where I'm pitching articles. Um, but most of that kind of revolves around movies because that's like, I don't know, like um, that's like my second love, like writing and then film. Mm. So at the moment, yeah, pitching articles. And actually, I'm trying to work on my first novel because um, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's hard. It's difficult. But yeah, just freelancing and um I have so many ideas. It's just what I find so difficult. It's like pinning one thing down to focus on. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely going to be right. Do them all, Beanie. Do them all. Um, did, have you, you, you mentioned film. Like, have you mm -hmm. ever wrote in a short film or, or shot one before for like a horror? Um, I was in, so back for my undergraduate, my, my degree, I did drama, actually. I did drama and theatre studies. So I worked with a lot of like... Um, university filmmakers I was in several short movies um uh, I would love like is my goal this year like I've told myself I want to write my novel but also I would love to write a screenplay because I just yeah a horror screenplay that would be a dream I would love to work in in the film community as well kind of what would you what would you uh want to say in in, in 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 closing remarks being to all your new fan newfound fans out there you know what I'm saying anything you want to say in the last and parting words um, I would just say keep reading, keep watching movies, keep backing creative people to do creative things and keep being creative as well. Are, are you promising me right now? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs>